Hi, my name is Meryl and I'm a nurse navigator with the cardiac imaging team at Cone Health. If you're watching this video, you have been ordered a cardiac PET study by your cardiologist. The purpose of this video is to help you prepare for that study so that we can achieve a high quality study that can help your cardiology team take better care of you. A cardiac PET study is a study in which radioactive materials is injected into you and the PET scanner will pick up the radiation produced by the radioactive material. We currently provide three types of cardiac PET studies, perfusion, sarcoid, and viability. We will only cover perfusion and sarcoid during this video. To prepare for your cardiac PET perfusion study, we ask that any patients that are taking erectile dysfunction medicines to stop taking them 72 hours prior to your study. Examples include Viagra and Cialis. Medications that improve blood flow, such as isosorbide mononitrate or Imder and Renexa should be avoided the day before the study and the day of your study. You should also avoid caffeine for 12 hours prior to your study, as caffeine is the reversal agent for the stress medication given during the study. Please be aware that decaffeinated teas and coffees, chocolate, and certain sodas contain caffeine. On the day of the test, we ask that you do not eat for three hours prior to your appointment, but drinking water is okay. You may take your regular medicines prior to your test. If you are a diabetic, please avoid any oral diabetes medications or short-acting insulins until you are able to resume eating. You will report to the radiology department 30 minutes prior to your appointment time. A nuclear medicine technologist will escort you to a room where you will be asked to change into a gown and we will start an IV and place cardiac monitoring stickers to your chest. You will be escorted to the scanner. You will be placed on cardiac monitor and blood pressure cuff. We will position your arms above your head and the scan will begin. You will first get a short non-contrasted chest CT scan followed by the perfusion imaging. You will move to the back of the scanner where you will be injected with the radioactive material and the machine will collect radiation measurements. This will take about seven minutes. After this, we will repeat the imaging, but we'll inject a stress agent to your heart while multiple blood pressure readings are collected. At this point, you may feel symptoms such as chest discomfort or flushing, which should be mild and go away after a few minutes. After another seven minutes, your test is completed. We will offer you some oral caffeine, remove your IV, and discharge you without any restrictions. To prepare for your cardiac PET sarcoid study, you will need to begin 24 hours prior to your study. Starting 24 hours prior to your study, please do not exercise and avoid any carbohydrates. This will mean that you can only consume meats cooked in fat, such as butter, and seasoned with salt and pepper, while only drinking black coffee or water. Please record the time you eat and what you eat on the food diary worksheet. After 5 p.m., you will not eat and can only consume water. You may take your regular medications on the day before your test, but wait until after the test on the day of. If you are diabetic, you may take your regular medications like normal until you begin fasting at 5 p.m. Please avoid taking your diabetes medications when you begin the fast. You will report to the radiology department 15 minutes prior to your appointment time with your food diary. A nuclear medicine technologist will escort you to a room where you will be asked to change into a gown. We will start an IV, review your food diary, and escort you to the scanner for your first set of images. We will inject a radioactive material and the machine will collect the radiation measurements. The first set of images will take about seven minutes. Afterward, you will go back to the room where you will be injected with a radioactive sugar and wait approximately an hour for uptake. After the uptake has happened, you will be escorted back to the scanner for a second set of images that will take about 10 minutes. Afterward, your IV will be removed and you will be discharged without any restrictions. A lot of people ask, when will I get these results? Your cardiology team will get these results within 24 to 48 hours. For more answers to frequently asked questions such as this, please visit our website, conehealth.com slash cardiac imaging.